Hi Jeff, um, you're in the uh, Guitar and Bass magazine right now. The, awesome. Yeah. Um, first the, of all, the, the best magazine, right? Obviously. Uh, Jeff, before we talk a little bit about your equipment, tell me something about what you are doing here at the Frankfurt Music Messe. Well, usually I'm lucky enough to be invited here by Hughes and Kettner amplifiers and um, or Gibson or Epiphone guitars. Uh, this year. I don't think either company is here. The, those companies aren't here this year. So I thought I would miss out and not come to my favorite convention, music place. But um, this guitar camp, guitar school, guitar camp, uh, invited me to come out here along with a, a lot of other amazing drummers and guitar players and uh, just do like little informal master class lessons uh, over there. <coughs> and also uh, like little, I guess you could say clinics, or you just go up and do karaoke. You just play along to your music and talk to the, the people and answer questions. And I love it because not only do, do you get to talk to people that you've seen uh, many times before, new people, new kids too, and, uh, but also um, you know some press, and, but also a lot of musicians that you know and like. And especially you find amazing musicians that some people do not know or, that, that, or don't have big promotion around them. And you see some of the best musicians in the world here doing little workshops in here, and it's it's incredible. I, my main thing this time coming here was how many amazing drummers are here, and I'm a guitar player, so I was blown away by the talented drummers from different styles of music here. Right. I mean, uh, is is that a major difference for you between playing with Annihilator and doing this kind of clinic, this this kind of showcases? I mean, what does that mean? playing wise for you yeah I'm, I'm not really a school educated schooled guitar player so for me it's kind of like the the Angus Young uh, kind of vibe where you just go up and make you know just play and you make mistakes and just have fun and get a bit maybe a bit of feel in there too but uh, it really wasn't the kind of thing that I ever thought about doing but <clears throat> seven or eight years ago Hughes and Kettner asked me to come and do this and it was my first time actually do hang on a second <coughs> choke of my coffee. Um, Hughes and Kettner asked me to uh, come here the first time in 2009, 2010. And it was amazing. I didn't realize that sort of, you're, you're kind of teaching people. And I didn't realize that there was, you know, a lot of people that like what I do and were asking me questions about, you know, how I do things and what is my life like and music life. And then you start realizing very quickly that teaching is probably one of the best jobs that you can do. You think so? Well, I didn't think that way until I started doing this stuff. All right. And my way of teaching is not really an educated way of teaching a schooled musician. It's more of a uh, informal, uh, what's life like uh, on a tour bus? How do you get record deals these days? And, you know, like how, what, you know, simple things about playing, um, but not really technical stuff and, and school stuff. So, I mean, there's enough guitar players here that are very schooled, like Herman Lee, for example, super fast shredder, he know, really knows what he's doing. Um, and there's a lot of guys that teach uh, the school type guitar. I'm just sort of get up and play and people, some people like what I'm doing, so. All right, okay. Last question for the video interview. Uh, what's in the pipeline with your band? Sorry, what's? What's in the pipeline with your band? Uh, um, well, we did a lot of touring for our last album in 2015 called Suicide Society. Uh, we just finished recording the music for our 16th studio album. Right. I hope it's out in the fall. Uh, we did this a lot different than any of the other albums, so it'll be either a really good one or a really bad one. Um, Is there already a title for the album? Yeah, I, I just have uh, some ideas right. now, but... That's I'm, what I'm doing now when I get back from the convention is I actually start in the studio uh, singing and finishing up the lyrics. Uh, but June we do a tour with uh, in Canada for a month. We do some summer festivals, of course, the Mighty Vakin again. We're lucky enough to play there every two years, it looks like. Right. Um, and three or four other awesome festivals. We're going to have a little bit of time off in the summer with our families and friends and girlfriends and fiancés and all that because we've been working hard for a couple of years. And then new record, maybe a tour in November, December with a, a really cool band. We, we can't announce it yet, but, and then our own tours in early 2018. So in other words, just same stuff. We're lucky to be busy and I'm lucky to be 51 years old playing heavy metal and still 
being able to do this. So. Right. Okay. Great. Thank you very much.